Hello YouTube viewers once again. Welcome to the depression. This is Discovering Your Channel. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and also your contribution in one way or the other to make this channel a success. We have been on how you can design a free energy generator and we have discussed the different things you can do for you to design this wonderful invention. I think most of my subscribers who have tried what we order to venture onto this new technology and some of you who are also intended to do that when well, I wish you the best. You know, energy, free energy generator is free. There's no doubt about that. And you have always it is a practical thing which you need to have a good knowledge on. And when you have a good knowledge on and you put into practice, you have the same result because success has to be with science and practical. Now, today you can convert this type of generator, which is called a small generator, into a free energy generator. Why do you have to bring generator here? This generator is most common in developing countries like Africa and Asia and other countries and is very very useful because it consumes less fuel, it contains after 4 liters of uh, uh, petroleum and with 4 liters of petrol you can run this generator successfully. Now the question is now assuming you want to convert this generator now into a free generator as a fuelless generator a generator that does not use fuel. How do you do that? Because at this now, you can see how it is. We have form, we have information and everything. And it looks a little portable and small in size, which make it easier for mobility in case you want to move it from one location to another. It's easier because sometimes you may want to move from one area to another. If your generator you're using is very large, it will require a lot of cost to move it. But with this small generator, as this now, you can easily move it from one location to another. So now, if you want to convert it, how do you do that now? That's the, what we are going to focus on. Now, the first of all, you look at the structure of the generator. This is after this has been dismantled. You, the tank was removed, the cover was removed, the this area of the bearings, the, the and every other thing was moved, and then you have this carcass. Now, if you're zadi here critically, you see this area where we have the the pistol. Uh, you know, some of you know much about like I can't know, this area is a pistol, and this here now you see here uh, is where we have this this system now here, where we have the rope. This rope we draw. This is where we have it here, so you can see it here. This is where we have it here. Now, if you open inside, you see this cover. There's a row. Then this legs now, as you can see, two legs here, is still the legs we have now. So, what you just have to remove is to remove this cover. When you remove this cover, you see this now. You see this. Then in this place now is where we have the coil. You no, know, I have discussed over this over and over again. I told you in one of my prediction, I told you it has two sections. It has the electrical section. And has the mechanical session, and I explain my location. I, I said that it is not the the mechanical. It is not the oil or the petrol that you put on the generator like this that make it to produce light. But what it does is to help to turn on or to rotate the coils inside this electrical session. That is why we have so if you see this critically you, you remove this out you have electric car so in the free generator design to do the conversion of the generators what you have to do is for you to dismantle the electrical session you remove it i would exactly what you see here now the electrical session is be removed now if you look at the mechanism in every generator there is an iron the rod as you can see the rod here this is the rod that enable yeah. 
Now, if you look at Rickard here, you see there's a rod here, this rod. This rod is the one that connects the mechanical section to the electrical section. It is in this rod that the core is being turned, assuming you put light, you put fuel here now. You draw this out, the, the, this, the cable is wrapped into the device that enables this rod to rotate. And when this rotate, it just starts steaming and bring out smoke. Now, in this case, now you remove this cover out, remove this one out, you have a rod. In that rod, now the rod connects it to the to this thing, to the the coil, the coil. Now, in this guy, what do you have this place now? So when it is connected to the coil now, what you have to do is to dismantle this now. Why do we have this capacitor attached? The a capacitor is to enable it because this every generator has capacitor depending on the word if it has to do windows it's capacitor is attached depending on where so this area what you see now is to enable the coil to bring up voltage as we see this in show here so the essence of the capacitor is to, to boost out the voltage to see it out now i don't know let's go to the particular form so you can see better way of Is the main coil is the main coil this is This is the main coil. This is the coil I'm explaining to explain. The coil this is a ray coil that is the main the electrical section. And then you see that this from here is a cable that come out from the coil. And this is one cable that is coming out. You see different connection of the coil system where we have auxiliary winding. Now, Now, you can see the rod, this is the rod I was explaining about. The, this rod is the one that connects, if you see the rod is connected directly to the, to the mechanical section, to the world electrical section. So this one is the area where the coil, you, the moment you remove the cover, you see this coil. You see the rod, sorry, you see the rod. You can see you can see the rod here see the rod as you can see it connect directly to this what i'm trying to explain is the rod now says it here as you can see so you, this is how it's been connected in a very simple way This, as it's, it's being plugged, you see it's rotating now. But we're trying to see it without the capacitor. See how it is now without capacitor. Now you have just 0 0.38 without capacitor and 0. Point, you can see 0, 0. Point, 0, 0, 0.3.4, just very low. Now watch and see when the capacitor is put. That is where the capacitor is very important. Where you have to put the capacitor to make the generator bring out what you want. The output with capacitor in so the capacitor now books out the output.